Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Media here today with a video of some common causes, solutions, symptoms, and fixes for engine fault code P0171. So the message received with fault code P0171 is system two lean bank one. Virtually what this fault code P0171 means is that the engine is running too lean on bank number one. So essentially the air fuel ratios or AFR are too lean, which basically just means that you have either too little fuel or too much air, which is causing the lean conditions and the code P0171. What exactly does bank one refer to in this whole engine code? Most engines are split into two banks when it comes to this matter. So if you look at V-shaped engines, Typically, they will have two banks with bank one being on the driver's side of the vehicle. However, that isn't always the case. Sometimes bank one can be on the passenger side, but again, most times with a V-shaped engine, any V6, V8, V10, V12, bank number one is almost always on the driver's side of the vehicle. So that's indicating that there's an issue with one of the cylinders or something on that side of the engine. When it comes to inline six engines, usually bank one will refer to cylinders number one, two, and three, even though there aren't two banks like with a traditional V engine where you have two clearly distinct banks. Of course, that isn't quite the case with an inline six since all of the cylinders are just in a row. However, they do still have two banks. And again, usually cylinders number one, two, and three will be bank one. Then when it comes to inline four engines, not all inline four engines have two banks. However, a lot of them do still use two engine banks. And so this will typically be cylinders number one and two. Some of the most common causes of fault code P0171 system two lean bank one include clogged or faulty fuel injectors, a faulty or weak fuel pump or fuel pressure regulator, FPR for short, a vacuum leak, exhaust leak, as well as some sensor issues and really the two main sensor issues that cause P0171 will be the oxygen sensors or the MAF or mass airflow sensors. So Really, those are some of the most common causes. That's not a totally exhaustive list. There are a couple other things here and there that may lead to fault code P0171. However, if you are running into that code, chances are one of the previously discussed issues is at fault and is to blame for P0171. If you are experiencing fault code P0171, a couple symptoms that you'll usually notice alongside that, it will trigger the check engine light, you might notice power loss, rough idle, stuttering or hesitation while accelerating, engine misfires, which will also usually trigger a separate engine fault code. And it may also throw the vehicle into limp mode and essentially limit the amount of power and the speed that you can go at. That does depend on the vehicle, whether or not it has limp mode or anything like that, but P0171 certainly can trigger that. Part of the reason it can trigger limp mode or essentially a reduced power mode brings us into our next point about the severity of engine fault code P0171. This fault code is a pretty severe code and can be a very serious issue and something that needs to be addressed as soon as possible and would really recommend limiting the amount of driving with the vehicle while you do have fault code P0171. The reason for that is when an engine is running lean, it can be very dangerous. It's important to have the proper amount of air and fuel in the cylinders at all times. If you have too little fuel relative to the amount of air in the cylinders, that increases the chance of running into engine knock and detonation, which is something that can cause catastrophic engine failure or damage if a significant knock or detonation event occurs. And the chance of that is much higher when you don't have an adequate amount of fuel in the combustion chamber. So if you do have fault code P0171 on your vehicle, definitely be very cautious with the throttle. Running a little bit lean at idle or at low loads, normal driving, it's unlikely to cause any serious damage or severe issues, especially if you don't drive the vehicle much. 
However, it is a lot higher risk and, and can cause serious damage if you are driving in a spirited way or aggressively. If you're using a lot of throttle, the chance of an engine knock or detonation occurring is a lot greater. So if you do have P0171, again, try to limit the amount of driving you do. If you absolutely have to drive, then just be very cautious on the throttle. Virtually, really the best and safest bet is do not drive the vehicle until the problem is solved. But if you do absolutely need to, just drive gently. When it comes to diagnosing the actual issue at hand that is causing fault code P0171. Diagnostics can be fairly simple for this if you have the proper tools and equipment and are experienced with these kind of tasks. If you aren't, then it can be a little bit more complex and you might be best off going to a repair shop. However, we'll walk through a couple things to test and check if you are able to. So number one, if you are getting fault code P0171, chances are you already scanned the computer or the ECU for these engine codes. So really step number one in diagnosing the issue, it's important to understand what other fault codes, if any, you're receiving alongside fault code P0171. For example, usually if you have an oxygen sensor failure or problem, the car will usually store another fault code for an O2 sensor issue, so that could point you in the right direction right off the bat. Likewise, if you receive fault code P0174, system two lean bank two, if both banks are running lean, then that tells you it's likely something that can affect both banks of the engine. For example, if you have a faulty fuel injector, that will likely just affect one cylinder unless something fluky happened and two on different banks happen to fail or get clogged at the same time. Otherwise, again, if you have one injector on one side that goes bad, that would just trigger a P0171 bank one fault code and it would be unlikely to trigger that P0174 bank two fault code. So if you are getting system two lean on both banks, it's likely to be something that affects both of them, which would then lead you to something like a fuel pump, a fuel pressure regulator, a fuel pressure sensor, anything along those lines, a vacuum leak potentially if it is something that could be affecting both banks of the engine. So really that's the first step to diagnosing the issue, checking what if any other fault codes are present and seeing if those point you in a certain direction. Afterwards, assuming P0171 is the only fault code at hand and you don't really have anything to help narrow it down specifically, you can test for vacuum leaks using a vacuum gauge. This does need to be done with the engine off. A vacuum leak will usually create a hissing sound. However, that's hard and nearly impossible to notice with the engine running. If everything checks out there, the next best step is to test fuel pressure. If your fuel pressures are looking good, then it's time to move on and test the actual sensors. The mass airflow and oxygen sensors are going to be the main sensor causes of fault code P0171. So go ahead and test those sensors. If that isn't the issue, then there are a couple other possibilities. Again, a fuel injector, which could be affecting a single cylinder. Something like that, though, will usually trigger an engine misfire, which that will help point you to the exact cylinder that misfire and faulty fuel injector is tied to. So a couple things there that can be done. Now, a lot of these tests do require special equipment, special tools, and a little bit of knowledge of what you're doing. So if you don't have all of that on hand, then a repair shop might be the best bet. Fortunately, most of the causes of fault code P0171 are relatively inexpensive. Most of the parts you're looking at will range from about $10 to $150, depending on the exact issue at hand. So relatively inexpensive parts. And if you go to a repair shop, a lot of these problems are roughly one or two hour fixes. Expect to get about a repair bill for about one or two hours of labor, which can add another $100 to $300 onto the total bill. But fortunately, it's a relatively inexpensive issue in the grand scheme. So if you do end up at a repair shop, Typically, P0171 isn't a super costly issue. That wraps up our video for today, guys. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out the description below for more awesome content. Thanks, guys.